Dylan guys. So I got uh, three different types of four gauge here. I got your rough Fosgate, I got Stinger, and I got Monster Cable. Um, and from what I can see, Monster Cable is not only the biggest, it's also got the most copper in it. Right next to each other, you can't really tell the difference between chain Stinger and Rocket Fosgate. They're relatively the same size. However, when you turn them sideways like I had them, let's see here, that's not the right side. Let's see here. Turn them sideways, and it looks like the Stinger is maybe just a few strands short of what the Rockford Fosgate strand count would be. But, next to monster cable there's no doubt about it there's way more copper way thicker cable than the Fosgate and for those of you who don't believe everything you see or whatever I'll show you the brand names clearly you know the silver one stinger it's got the symbol right there this one is definitely indeed rougher Fosgate Full U.S. Specification CA Certified 2015 Compliant for AUG. Stinger says around at 4 gauge. Monster Cable looks like it looks like the same size of like like a uh, a CCA uh, one knot almost, you know. But see, they don't usually make CCA one. So like a, a zero gauge. There you go. <laughs> It looks like cheap Chinese zero gauge uh, wiring. You get it and it's not quite as thick as one gauge, but it's definitely thicker than four gauge. And maybe even about the same size as two gauge. It's probably really what it is. Anyways, uh, what matters is whether or not it's pure copper. And this is all OFC pure copper. The Stinger's pure copper. Uh, Rafa Fosgate Monster Cable use pure crystal, so it's a little bit more refined, pure crystal, oxygen free copper. So this is Monster Cable 4 gauge. Um, like I said, it's, it's real copper, they're all real copper. And uh, it is extremely huge, it looks like, almost like zero gauge. That's the size of it. And if you're really pushing the limits of your 4 gauge, I would definitely upgrade and just go to this Monster, uh, especially if you're in the market for a new kit anyways just go ahead and hit me up and uh, you know you're definitely getting something far better far thicker far more capable and more copper inside your cable than what Rafa Fosgate has to offer in their kits and Rafa Fosgate kits the last I checked are more more money so same quality of copper and you get more more copper more strands thicker cable all around better cable because another thing is if you look at I'm not trying to put down Rafa Fosgate I like Rafa Fosgate too but me and in my own personal vehicle I went through I went with monster cable for everything monster cable 8 gauge monster cable 1 aught and monster cable 4 aught for my 4 channels so um, another thing is you can see the shiny lines going through the cable like that that's the um, twisting because um, the monster Rafa Fosgate used to make braided cable, and they, it was hands down the best cable. I still have some 8 gauge that's braided. And braided means it's it's kind of looks like, um, I don't know if you've ever seen like braided stainless steel hosing. It looks just like that. And uh, that's kind of what Stinger did with theirs. And Stinger, by far, out of all three of these, is, is the most flexible. Um, and it's probably also got the best current flow, seeing how it's pure silver tin, but I wouldn't really know. Thicker is supposed to be better. That doesn't always mean anything. Thicker uh, might just be thicker because they don't uh, wrap it up as or twist it up as much, and uh, or it could also mean that it's CCA. And just because you know you got CCA four gauge and CCA OFC, you know it's it's when you're comparing it to brands like Fosgate or uh, Stinger, you know that oh, you know you're only losing a few watts or 50 percent or you can actually lose up to 75 percent of your power on an unproperly wired system if, especially if it's wired with cca so you can gain uh, a lot everything what your amp says it's supposed to put out if it's a ca or world compliant amp and then you'll gain some 
and with the monster cable I do not doubt that you if the amp is struggling at all say you you know you're running a 1500 watt or 1200 watt amp and uh, it's it's really pushing the cable to the limits amperage wise uh, the monster cable is definitely a better deal definitely a better safer bet because it's thicker uh, and not it's not just thicker it's better uh, wound up you can see the the they wound it just like they wound up the uh, the rock for Fosgate you know it's still got those shining lines but you can see lines going the other way that means that they they kind of woven it together when they are almost like a braiding when they made each one of these uh, and you see it See how there's like little circles, little circles, little circles. It almost looks like they took a bunch of 10 gauge and stuck them all together and made 4 gauge. That's what they do with all wiring. That's basically what it is. It's they take the they take a, this is the Fosgate, but you know they they take bundles, what they would call bundles, of like 10 10 gauge size wiring, and it's still the same stranding as like 10 gauge, still the same stranding as 1 gauge, and more uh, more often than not. And they'll just take a bunch of it, say like a 10 gauge bunch, and they'll take like six of them and wind them all together and twist them all up, and there you go, that's 4 gauge. All, co all cable companies do that. What Rafa Fosgate did is they braided it in each 10 gauge, and then they went along and twisted them all like Rafa Fosgate did. So that is even better. That's twice as much twisting. Uh, could lead to twice as much, you know, or faster or cleaner power signal transfer um, ultimately the monster cable is thicker it's better it's got more copper in it it's probably got more uh, strand count and last I checked it can definitely handle a lot more power it's a nicer cable yes it's PVC it's not silicone like Fosgate is but like I just told you this is PVC just like monster and it's far more thicker than this rough Fosgate stuff and the monster cable is still pretty flexible. If you're running four gauge, you're probably not looking for the most flexible cable out there, but you know, monster cable is just as flexible as all the other ones for all the applications you'd be using it for. Side by side, you can definitely tell monster cable is the thickest. Side by side on the stinger, they look identical. If anything, the stinger looks a little thicker, but yes, I agree. The stinger is also not as uh, much copper. It's got a few more strands in the Rafa Fosgate compared to the stinger. But in comparison, and that's a solid comparison right there, between your Fosgate and your Monster Cable, you can definitely tell that the Monster Cable is thicker, better, more wiring. So that's my conclusion. I don't know what you guys think, but that's what it is.